Hey guys, I'm Veil back again with another interesting comparison between this Pixel 4a and this Nokia 8.1. In this video, let's check on the speed and web management on these two devices and we'll see that if you are comparing a processor, which is almost latest one, Snapdragon 730G with this old, very old processor, Snapdragon 710. So if there is any significant difference, we'll be checking on this because most of us, we upgrade to latest phones, you know, latest processors. Now, do we get really very significant difference in, when it comes to performance and speed? We'll be checking on this today. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos. And if you have already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. So first of all, let's start with the restart test. One, two, three. And I found that normally the latest processors, they can restart the device faster than the older ones. So we'll see that if there is any exception here or, you know, Pixel 4a is going to win this easily. Okay, so we have to wait for that. And do share your, you know, experience of using these devices. If you are having any of these one, you know, let me know in the comments. So let's see that which one is going to win this race, the first one. After this, I'll be doing, oh, <laughs> you can see that. This, you know, 8.1, surprisingly, it was faster than this one. Really interesting here. Next, let's run the Geekbench scores here. One, two, three. And we'll see that which one is going to score higher. Obviously, 730G. But we'll see that how significant will be the difference. So we have the scores here. And you can see that in terms of, you know, single core score, there is a significant difference if you compare it. With this one 532 here it is 398 whereas in terms of multi-core there is no significant difference okay now let's check on one process to see the actual processing speed of these two processors now let's do one video rendering test here to check on the actual processing speed of these two you know processor snapdragon 730g and this one 710 okay what i have done i'm using this Power Director app and I have added one 4K video, same video on both of these devices and I'm going to render one simple video. I will convert the video to 1080p and we'll see that how significant will be the difference when it comes to processing the video. Okay, so let's do that. Here you can see 7 4K to let's set it to 1080p here as well. Okay, so one, one, two, three, and we'll see that which one is going to finish rendering the video faster. So guys, you can see that uh, there is a significant difference here because Pixel 4a with 730G has completed the process. Here it is at 69. So yes, in terms of editing videos, there is a significant difference. So now let's start with the apps and games loading time and RAM management of these two devices. So let's see that if there is anything in the background, nothing here, here as well. Okay, so let's start with the phone app. One, two, three, Pixel 4a according to me. Then the camera app, one, two, three. Almost same, you let me know your observation, okay. And I found that the touch response is not that good on this 8.1. It used to be really good, but in my case, on this device, it is becoming a, you know, I can say bad at present. Now let's start with the Play Store. One, two, three. Pixel 4a, it's good, okay. And then settings, settings. One, two, three. Pixel 4a. Okay. Then YouTube. Here as well. YouTube. One, two, three. Both are connected to the same Wi Fi, so there won't be any problem in that case. You can see that almost same, no significant difference here. Okay. Next, uh, Chrome. One, two, three. Pixel 4a. Now let's load one web page and we'll see that which one is going to load the whole page faster. 
one, two, three. Pixel 4a, but no significant difference yet, yeah? So you can see that there is no significant difference than, you know, Netflix. Where is Netflix here? Yes. One, two, three. Oh, 8.1. But it has actually loaded the whole page here. Okay, whereas it has taken to the home, you know, yes, starting window. Okay, so it's a tie. Okay, then Netflix, then we have Flipkart. One, two, three. Pixel 4a. Then let's run this one as well. Geekbench again. One, two, three. We'll start the app only. So you can see that Pixel 4a is the clear winner here. Okay, now let's start with the games. Okay. Um, server surfer first one two three and we'll see that which one is going to load the game faster yeah pixel 4a is the winner yes just three to four seconds difference yeah. now the real test call of duty one two three now you let me know that uh, can you see that there is a very very big uh, difference here but yes when you use the pixel 4a after using 8.1 obviously you will feel that the operations here on this one is snappier compared to this one but yes uh, if you compare the price i won't say that there is a big jump in terms of performance okay yes again you can see that it is the winner here yes it has loaded the game here we have to wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yes, done. Again, uh, four to five seconds of difference, right? Now let's do one thing now. Uh, we'll be checking on the, you know, the RAM management. Okay. First of all, let's see that uh, whether the Chrome app is still in the memory or not on this 8.1 no it is not okay whether on this one still in the memory great then the flip cup ad no still loading here yeah still in the memory obviously uh, it has 6 gb of ram whereas this one is having GB of RAM, so obviously there will be a difference. Still in the memory, that's good. The game is there in the memory. Here as well. Then the Call of Duty. Still in the memory. Here. Still in the memory. So you can see that, uh, you know, it's not that the RAM management on this 8.1 is really bad. If you compare with this one, which one is having 6 GB of RAM, this one is having 4 GB of RAM. So considering that, it is actually doing good. So, you know, as I told you in the beginning, that if there is any significant difference, the answer is no. Yeah, there are certain uh, departments where Pixel 4a outperforms this one, obviously in terms of, you know, still images and night photography particularly i'll be doing one dedicated video you know to compare the you know the images okay so if you want to watch that do subscribe and you let me know your thoughts now after watching this video that um, you know considering the price you know uh, whether pixel 4a justifies the performance or not okay but in terms of still photography pixel 4a is the clear winner you can compare it with any other devices there is no problem Okay, so in this video, that's it. Now you let me know if you want to watch any particular comparison of these two devices. Do let me know in the comments. So till the next video guys, cheers.